Yes, good afternoon, peeps. Good afternoon, or right, even now. Well, good day. Can't go wrong with that, though. All right. So, get a call. So, the AC not working so good on this vehicle. During the day, when sun hot, not really blow cool. But in the night, or when rain fall, AC kick up rumpus, right? Yeah, man. Frost up on beer thing. Yeah, man. Bad at night, man. Bad at night. Yeah, rubbish. All right. So, come in. I'm going to do some work on it. See, General. Yeah, Perf man. connect. You know what I mean? Come on, you the way to go. You have an issue. Link him. All right. You hear that? Scully, hold up your head now, man. Hey, what kind of bow down thing you do, brother? Come on, come on, right, Joe. Yeah, man. Yes, man. Yeah, so, we're there and we say, all right, I'm just rolling and come deal with the car and thing. All right. Now, I'm sorry, you can't feel the breeze. But I'm going to show you how I go on. See car here you now. I'll do the AC work on. It's a nice car I look on right now. In good condition and thing, you know. Um yeah, three cylinder engine. Work on gas and all these things. It's for sale, so anybody interested can call that number. Yeah. It's a Mitsubishi Atraj or Atraj. See that? Yeah. 2017. So you don't know. Anybody interested can call the number, you know? Give a zoom in for the number again. That is it. Cool like not pull. Jesus. Last days. Years which days? Years. Well lubricated. Well lubricated. Hey, I, I, you know, I mean, yeah, no, no, can't go and talk. Yeah, but well lubricated. <laughs> yeah, so. I need some oil in my system now. So. This is the compressor oil. And dye. So, I use the UV light now. The green is where actually I see right here. So, it's going to glow when the blue light touch it. So, in cases of leakage, any rate of leak. This all come out, you can use the UV light to trace it for fine leakage. Simple as that. So, now we're gonna add the hive to this canister here. What I do is pull this off, throw the oil inside it. So, when I'm adding the gas, the oil and the gas will go in the same time. So, that's all in there, look. So, where's the view? The female, and she's very tight, let's use this oil. <laughs> yeah, you can drink this too, yeah? Bro, I'm a video, and I'm a shit, man. <laughs> oh, you man. can drink this too, yeah? Just remember when you have to eat, you have to drink. <laughs> Not that problem. You have to say, yeah, leak. <laughs> Yo. Just use one fingertip of this oil, and you just rub it inside. Rub it where? Inside weird. Of the So, in this case now, charging the system from the lower side, you can't have the island, right? So, this we call it a static charge. Charge when the system is basically off, when the vehicle is off, compressor not working, no matter. So the gas just flow through the both sides of the system and try to equalize. So the boat pressure is supposed to equalize on the gauge in most cases. But once it reaches a certain level and you see it stop, 
you can then start the vehicle and then the compressor chip in and circulate the gas system. So that's what I'm going to ask you to do now. You're going to start in a place. Alright, so the compressor chip in now. You can see this side going down, uh, more gas is going in the system. This side is going up. This is the high side, this is the low side. So pressure will go up on this side. So I'm trying to do is make it stay at 200. Once you reach the 200, I lock the valve and stop putting gas in it. So this is supposed to be on about 30. Let the system work properly. I'll pull it back. So, reaching up here. I'll feel the pipe the same time. Pipe side of course. You notice the sound guy? Notice that. Yeah. I'm starting to hear the sound again. So, so we have an issue with that in compressor on the night. Every one of them will work on. In compressor are always metallical, funny sound. Once I put back oil in it, it's supposed to have oil. So what if they put oil in it and the noise is still there? It can mean that the compressor is internally damaged. Which is so not good news. You understand? Keep your noise to yourself then. Yeah, as it get worse, it might have to change. I'm on the street, I'm not before the fight, never this fall in Never this fall So I see that's what I'm on the street now I try to really start moving. So once you see the stop, you just lock the one. So now I want to overcharge the system as well. So what happens if you overcharge the system? The overcharge the system, the system is going to fail safe. The pressure is too high on this side. So I'm going to fail safe, which is the pressure sensor now. I don't realize the pressure too high. Mm -hmm. But I chip out the compressor. That stops sending the current, the 12 volt current, to the compressor. You just chip out all of it. So that now kind of indicates that it reaches the mark. You chip in back again. You must watch that then, you must lock the ball. Okay, right. Right on the 30. And the 200 as well. So, as I say, if you overcharge, it's going to work in the reverse. So, we'll blow on. Now, the compressor now that you pin, the pressure sensor and the system are going to realize the pressure will high. Mm -hmm. And if I have a chip out of the compressor, in turn, technical part of it is stop send the 12 volt to the pipe to engage the compressor pump. So once you do that, you're going to get pure at you because the compressor not operating. So then you might think say you need a compressor? No. No, like well, if, some if you don't know, right. you'd think that you need a compressor. So one way you can find out, the gauge is one of the most important things to put on an AC system first. You know if the system has been gas in it or if it has been too much gas in it. Right? Or to know if the compressor is working because once you put it on the system and turn it on, you will see the movements of the gauge. So when the compressor is here, okay? so for example, when you just put on the gauge, this one was way around here, yeah. and this was probably down here or something like that. Once the vehicle starts on the compressor is here, you will see this gauge come right round and go down to like about 30 or 40. You will see this one start rising up. Okay. So you will, see, you will know so the compressor is working. Yeah, right. you just see something move all over. Yeah, chip out a while ago, so you see the gauge go back up and normalize. Yeah. So what, this is actually suction going on right here, so now. And this is pressure. So this side... That's what the gauge is doing right now. Right. This, this side is to deal with the outside here, so which is the condenser. So this is like pressure. Yeah. So this is like pressure and temperature, which is the high side. So the low side. It will refer to inside here. It will tell you what's going on inside. If the suction section is going on good, why is that? Yeah, so you want to know if it's inside or So this, as I said, refers to the condenser. So once you see this start go too far, that means the pressure too high, and you know pressure in turn um, create temperature, high temperature. So therefore, once you see this go too far, it can mean two things. Either the fan not working or there is some restriction or blockage in the system. 
So, seeing it moving like that, and see it settle, you can know if the compressor gone bad. But once you see me, the needle start to jump like that, too, yeah. so you know if it's up like that. So see the needle settle, zoom in for it. Yeah, see the needle settle, level. You know, so everything I want to go to the compressor. Ah, see, look on the pipe now. Pipe starts. Yeah, I'm washing on the pipe now. Why? Yeah, so, 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 let me get to understand over the years of doing AC work. There are times when the AC gas in there might not leak out it, but the AC gas just want to change out. In the tool on the gas, but the system is fresh. Gas. And you're trying to see how the AC system can work good again. You understand? So it's like service in the car. Change out the oil, filters, and whatever. So you have the in depth um, repair or servicing where that can change the, the dryer bag or the dryer filter for the AC system along with the AC cabin tool. Yeah. Right? So changing those will actually give you a, a different feel of the AC again. So you don't need to spend a bag of money once you link the right person. Yeah. I don't have to worry yourself. I don't have to hide no information from nobody. If you want to try to sell that's up to you, but anything go wrong, you still have to call like expert, right? No, you mean call you. I say yo, we yeah. we, we damage something. That's something not work. <laughs> Not me, anyway. But come on, straightforward. I want to tell us how to move more and move towards the old thing, see me. So it's some video. So guys, that. this is the power of the AC. Yeah, the power. You can that use it. everything move free, you know? Everything move free, lubricate it properly. <laughs> everything make it sweat after the power. <laughs> yeah man, come on to the pipe and sweat. Before it never do that. So mm, never do that. No, sir, a difference right, right now. Not if you feel the temperature inside. You still have a feet. Still have a feet. Glass. Yeah my glass cool man. Cool. But you see through the vent never turn to the glass and I frost it up. Yeah. Cold clay hot. I gotta try and make them feel it. <laughs> I wish, I wish, I wish. Yeah. So, come in again. Okay. The AC system is not a continuous running system. It's Whoa. supposed to cycle. So when the thermos stuck inside, you know, pick up that the temperature reach a certain degree, it's gonna chip out the compressor there. So a lot of things um, work together to make the AC system work. So the thermostat is on the evaporator core itself, right? So once key notes, the evaporator core actually freeze. You know that, right? It's actually turn ice. So once it freeze and it reach a certain degree, the thermostat that's on the evaporator core itself will actually send a signal to chip out the compressor for a little while. Yeah. The temperature go down now, we bring it back in again. So the water that you see dripping under the vehicle, it's the water dripping off of the evaporator core. Because the fan blowing through the ice, it's melting same time. Remember so, so back in back in other days, mm -hmm. that's how we had AC. Right. They had a block of ice the and then and a fan to blow it. Mm -hmm. So the same concept, but this is more a pressurized closed system. Yeah. So it works continuously. You don't have to worry about the ice melting yeah. or get more ice. You know more sophisticated, right. modern. So Straightforward. Straightforward. Right, that's it. So, a man, come for fix a system you know? and give you a lecture. Yeah, <laughs> don't know what he said. <laughs> Respect, Mr. Kimani. Yeah, man, it's our work, man. Until next time, guys. Yeah. Boss will be closing out for the night. Peace. Active. Yo. Is it? Done by Kimani's Auto Repairs and Services.